Let's do an example of determining the AVCV factor using PD7974 part 2. So that's the formula. Let's do some examples for you now. First of all, determine the AVCV factor for a smoke reservoir with the following parameters. Your mass flow rate of smoke is 23.5 kilograms a second. The density of air can be taken as 1.177 kilograms per meter cubed. The temperature of the smoke layer is 405 degrees Kelvin. The building's got four reservoirs. Acceleration due to gravity can be taken as 9.81 meters a second squared. Your smoke layer depth is 4.5 meters. Your theta value, your temperature increase is 112 degrees Kelvin. And the ambient air temperature can be taken as 293. You put those figures into this formula, as you can see here, you should get an AVCV factor of 4.94 square metres. The key thing on here to remember is, if you look at your AVCV AICI, it's 1 divided by 3. Because there's four reservoirs, wherever the fire is, that's the reservoir where the smoke's going out. And obviously, if all three are available, then you've got three for the inlet. So remember that when you're doing this calculation. Let's do another example using this method. Let's determine the AVCV factor for a smoke reservoir with the following parameters. You've got your mass flow rate of smoke is 87.5 kilograms a second. Your density of air is 1.177 kilograms per meter cubed. Your temperature of your smoke layer now is 433 degrees Kelvin. Now there's six reservoirs available, so don't forget when you come to your AVCV factor, you should put in one divided by five. As long as they're all available and they're going to open, you've got one for your outlet and you've got five inlets. Acceleration due to gravity is 9.81 metres a second squared. Your smoke layer depth is 5.7 metres. You've got a theta value of 140 degrees Kelvin. And your ambient air temperature can be taken as 293 degrees. Put them in this formula, as you can see here. Once you put those into that formula, you should get an AVCV factor of approximately 15.23 square metres. That's how, you attempt, that's how you do these calculations with this formula. That covers the examples. Now we want you to carry out some of these exercises yourself. We want you to attempt these exercises, which you can find in your workbook. And when you've completed them, click on the link below to watch all the model answers. So have a go at these exercises.